name is Favor. Welcome to my channel. It's our Fenwick life. Today we have a Dollar Tree haul. Um, it's mostly fall items, but there are some ordinary household items thrown in there that I'll show you at the end. So let's get started. Um, Dollar Tree is a weakness for me, as it is for so many other people. Um, forgive any clicky clacking you hear, jingle jangling. Um, my dogs are surrounding me at the moment and they won't go away and there's nothing I can do about it. They're just in 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 my business anytime they can be. <laughs> and they're 120 plus pounds, except for one, he's 20 pounds. Um, and so they are quite large. And Anyway, so um, I went to two different Dollar Trees. Um, in my area, we have several Dollar Trees, uh, but the two that I primarily go to, there's one um, that's okay. It's it's a medium sized one, but they they never really have all of the fun things that um, I like about Dollar Tree. <laughs> that most of us like about Dollar Tree, um, and the store is often quite disorganized and messy. So the second one that I go to is enormous, enormous. It is grocery store size. The one I really like to go to when I'm looking for something specific or for the seasonal items. So to control myself. I try and only shop at Dollar Tree seasonally. So I'll go in for fall, I'll go in for winter or, or Christmas, and I'll go in for springtime. Um, typically, spring is not something um, I decorate too much for, but um, I do enjoy picking up like the, thing, the household things that I tend to run out of in the springtime. So here we go, let's get started on the fall items. So the first thing I picked up was this cute little sign. Um, you know, it's it's uh, it says Harvest Blessings, Corn Maze, Pumpkin Pie, Apple Cider, Hay Rides, and Thanksgiving. Uh, it's that cardboard, pressed cardboard, what do they call this? It's got a name and I'll think of it eventually. Um, so, you know, it's not gonna last forever. So for a dollar, for one season, it's fine. Um, I'll hang it uh, in my entryway, either on the inside of my house or the outside of my house, just as a cute little seasonal fall decor. And when it falls apart from humidity here in Texas, that's fine, it was a dollar. And next year I can go get a different one and change it up every year. So it's nice to have the variety. Chipboard, that's what it's called. This one was a dollar also, and this is for outside. They had two, one was something about a pumpkin patch, um, and this one is Home Sweet Home. I thought it was really, really cute. So again, it'll go at the front door, um, welcoming guests to my home for the holiday and uh, for the fall season, and that's great. Mmm, always have to have a cup of coffee. Oh, they have the cutest little mugs at Dollar Tree. So many really cute fall, not fall themed mugs, but like in the fall colors. They were so cute. I just don't have room. Mm. Okay, let's go ahead and start with this breakable stuff. These are so adorable. They're ceramic pumpkins. They are ceramic and they're three different types. The two stores I went to, only one of them had them and they are three different colors and sizes. They're so pretty, so delightful. Um, I'm gonna use these in my guest bathroom because uh, they are small, you know, they're and here's here's my hand <laughs> if that helps um, so but they are very pretty and very um, you know nice I liked them um, so uh, they'll be nice to add to my seasonal collection of things that I actually hang on to year after year and um, I really liked them and they're like an orange color a brown color and then a green color so you know all the traditional fall pretty colors so I picked up three more small pumpkins, two in like an orangey, metallic orange, and then the gold. Um, I'm going to put these in my kitchen window. I have a window right over my sink, and I'm gonna put these in there. Uh, they're nice and small, and this way, only being a dollar, if my cat knocks them off and destroys them, it's okay. Um, but I do use command strips on the bottom um, and stick them to my count to my windowsill, if helping to keep them in place. So if you have cats, that's a nice, nice thing to do because the command strips don't destroy your um, your countertop or whatever the case may be that you're sticking them to. Um, but that's what I do. And these were a gold color and, and an orange, orangey metallic color. So I thought they were really, really cute, and I'm, you know, glad to pick them up. And last but not least, 
well, not of the fall stuff, but last of the little pumpkins. Um, these are like a uh, plastic material. Um, I can't remember what that's called at the moment, but it's like a plasticky material. Um, and I had to kind of dig through a little bit because a lot of them were broken. They had a couple of other ones there that were kind of a heavier ceramic stone-like texture to them. Um, they were much heavier, but most of them were broken. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I kind of didn't get those, but they were really cute. Um, and these, this is like a uh, burnt orange color, and these are the bright orange and uh, another orange one. And they are two different colors and, th and two different sizes. And these I'm going to put in the corner of my master bathroom just as a little accent, cute little, you know, decoration for the bathroom. Um, or I may actually put these on my desk, um, you know, somewhere like that, someplace small. And again, I will use the command strip uh, trick on the back of these anywhere I put them because I have cats and cats are jerks sometimes, you know, and they get that little paw going and then they are at your table just like this and they knock everything off. Yeah, I have those cats. Um, I saw these hauled on Thrifted, thrifted Living and um, she, along with a couple of those pumpkins. Um, the burlap, it's really, really cute and, um, you know, it, it's inexpensive, a buck. And I picked up one in like a burnt red color and then the brown. Um, and then I picked up these two baskets. They're very flexible, lightweight, uh, plasticky metal baskets. Um, but what I did is pick these up for a project and I'll show you that project at the end. But I picked up two of them. Um, I really only needed one basket, but I actually really like these baskets. And I'm thinking of putting them on the back, one of them on the back of the toilet in my guest bathroom to hold uh, hand towels. Cause they're just, it's cute. Why not? So um, I did pick up some fall foliage. I am typically not one to buy the foliage. Let me pick it all up. Hold on one second. I think that's all of them. I'm typically not one to buy the foliage. Um, I like this kind of thing, but again, I have cats and they chew and they knock things over. And in particular, things like this are very attractive to them. However, um, I wanted to do this little project. So I'm gonna take the basket, wrap the basket with the burlap, put the little thing in there and, and then arrange some floral picks uh, for fall and um, put them in the middle of my kitchen table and see if possibly my little stinkers will leave them alone. Um, but uh, I picked up, let's see, some sunflowers, just like that, um, some little orange mums, some burgundy red mums, and then these I thought were so pretty, just some, you know, mums. I've attracted the dogs. I picked up two of those. And then another sunflower, just a little bit different of one, has a little bit of burlap in it. It's really cute. And then I, they had the traditional fall looking leaves, but I liked these. These were a little different and not your usual um, fall foliage, but in the right colors. So yeah, so we'll, little dog, no sir. So uh, I'll put that project here at the end. I'll show you how I put it together. I'm sure most of you know how to put it together, but I'll show you anyway. And then they had these. Now these, you know, the little seed pod weird things that people put in baskets. Um, I have existing containers that I'm going to stick. <laughs> Are you interested? <laughs> Excuse the appearance of the big head. I told you he's a large dog and the little head. Anyway, they have a, that smell to them of, you, you know, like, outside I guess I don't know that natural kind of eucalyptus -y smell that they have um, and, and the dogs are very curious about that anyway so these will go in like a bowl or a vase to sit out and again it's inexpensive so when my cats knock them on the floor and then my dogs pick them up and chew them it's not the end of the world excuse me May I help? You? Okay, let's try this again. And I have another burlap. Um, this is in the like light, light brown color. Okay, now here's the little styrofoam block to go in the basket um, so that I can attach the flowers. I love lights, like Christmas lights. Uh, I have some up here. That's why I looked up. Um, Christmas lights, any any type of little twinkle lights. Um, it adds just such a warm aesthetic to the room. It's just very welcoming and I, I just really enjoy it. Anyway, they had these. These are little LED um, fall leaf lights. You know, kind of kitschy, but whatever. Um, 
So I have a cabinet where I put a lot of my fall stuff and I will definitely be putting these in there. Now the problem with these things is, um, I do believe these have a timer on them. Um, no, it does not indicate there is a timer. They go through battery very, very quickly. So, you know, if you're going to use something like this as part of your decor, I really recommend either using the dollar store batteries, and I don't really like that option, um, it's, you know, because it creates so much waste, or using rechargeable batteries, uh, which is the case for me. I have some rechargeable batteries that I've picked up at Costco that I'll be using. Um, and years past picked up in Costco, um, not just for this purpose, but you know, rechargeable batteries are great. Anyway, so for this, um, I did pick up, I just threw it on the floor. Okay, these boxes are a little wonky. Um, there's three here, but I picked up four, but the other one is open and falling apart, so I didn't want to uh, pick it up again. So, but they're really cute and so much fun. And let's see, I believe this is the last fall item. There may be one more tucked in there. Um, and here it is. Uh, again, I'll put this out my front door. It says fall in love. Um, it's really cute. It's like a plasticky metal, metal material. I guess it's metal. Yeah, it's aluminum type thing. Um, it's really cute. You know, it'll get you through one season, maybe two if you take care of it. Um, and uh, the humidity doesn't get to it here in Texas. For me, it will, but maybe. Um, and I intend to just hang it at my front door or someplace special, small, because um, it's lightweight. So I just thought it was cute. All right, here's the last of the fall items. Um, along with, um, I have little trays that are like pumpkin shaped and things like that. I'm gonna put these little acorns in. Um, they're really cute, and hopefully my cats will leave them alone. Okay, so now for that just standard household section at the Dollar Tree. Um, these are things that I buy most of the time, if not, I'll indicate. Um, but we're gonna start off with something I don't normally buy. Uh, we'll start off with like the office supplies. And, yeah, the office supplies. So, I do have a planner. I have an Erin Condren planner that I don't use. Um, I had one made and sent to me and it's really cute and adorable. It's not practical for me. So um, I have a standard Mead month at a glance calendar that I use as a planner. Um, and then I have leaf, 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 then I, I have loose leaf paper that I insert and paper clip inside with my budget and things like that on it. That's what works for me. Um, it's just something I prefer. Now, that having been said, I really do like planner stickers. I love them, um, but you know, the ones that are specific to my day of that day, you know, like a dollar sign for the paycheck or, you know, some flowers or seasonal, that kind of thing. Anyway, that having been said, the Dollar Tree had these cute, um, planner stickers so there's these you know they have the arrows the stars the hearts the exclamation point dollar sign check mark birthday uh, mail and the fork and knife type thing for um, your meal planning I really like that and um, so I bought four of those and then this one which was perfect size they had little planners there about this size um, that I suppose you could use. I didn't, they were in sealed, so I couldn't really look at them, but they were really cute. They had a bunch of different ones available. So I thought they were really cute. And this one, important appointment to do, and then the little lines and the flags, and then the don't forgets. And those are the perfect size to fit in one of the squares in my uh, month at a glance. So I'm really happy to see these. I really like them. Now, I have a ton of planner stickers, um, but these, these are just really cute and a dollar. The ones on Etsy, oh, they can be so expensive. I'm running out of room over here. <laughs> and then this are, these are sticky notes. And the reason why I like these is the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, I can keep track of my running mileage on here and then check off. So I can put my plan for the week and stick it in the calendar and then put check marks next to it as I complete my goal. Um, I really like that. And there's 60 sheets. So, you know, it lasts me a whole year. So that's fantastic. So those are really cute. I mean, they had a couple of different options that you could choose from. Some look like a little calendar. They were just really cute. Um, so I picked up two packages of these. They're ballpoint pens, which is what I prefer. I am not a gel pen person. I feel like it smears and it's just not my thing. So I picked up two of these. 
I've never used them before. We'll see how they work. If they're, I mean, they're a dollar. So if they're great, great. If they last not very long, you know, that's fine too. This actually is the type of pen I like. I love a Pentel pen, just like this. Um, this is my preferred uh, type of pen. So I picked up one of these, the pencil, is that a pencil only thing? No, that's another pen. Whatever, I'll use it. That picked up one of those. Now, I think most women are notebook junkies. I've noticed in the um, hauls that I've watched that most women enjoy notebooks. <laughs> I'm no exception to that. So I picked up one of six different notebooks. I like that these are little. They're small. They're like, you know, it's the size of my hand. I like that they're small. So I picked up one that said love, little striped, one that says think happy. I just picked two of each. Picked up two of each. Um, and they're small, they fit on my desk. I'm the kind of person I make a to-do list almost every single day. Um, I don't forget list, uh, write it down next to me. Uh, I have a notepad next to my computer, uh, a notepad on the kitchen counter. I have them everywhere so that if I'm watching something on TV, I wanna jot it down or somebody calls or whatever the case may be, I'm just, I have them everywhere. And now I'll have a pen with them too. So um, I'm just, yeah. I, I have a lot of notebooks and I enjoy getting them from the dollar store because they're inexpensive and I actually, the paper's really thin and it, I, I don't know what that is, but I love writing on that paper. It's a smooth write. I, I just enjoy it. It has a nice feel to the, to the pen. And uh, I'm not sure that this is the most efficient way to buy these, um, but I only needed one or two. Um, so I picked up just a, the pack. What is there, one in here? Maybe there's two. Yeah, one handle and one uh, duster. So, I mean, for a dollar each, that's fine. I know I could have gone and spent a couple of bucks and gotten like a five pack, but whatever. This is fine. Um, I, I don't use this type of thing, but I am gonna be dusting um, some, a couple of different things, and this just makes it easier. Gearing up for the holiday season, it's time to replace the oven mitts. So I just picked up four, put your hand in oven mitts. Um, so I just replace mine every year. You know, you wash them, they get ratty and disgusting or they get a hole in them or something. So I just picked up four for the season. Recently, we took a trip to Florida. Recently, we took a trip to Florida and my mother-in-law had um, Ajax grapefruit scented um, so, and so I had to pick it up. This is not for washing dishes. Um, I use the, the Bath and Body Works soap dispensers and refill them with either Dawn or now, in this case, grapefruit scented Ajax. Um, I picked up a couple of them. They say limited, limited time bonus size. 25% free. I don't, whatever. I don't care. I love the scent. I think you maybe, if you've watched any of my other hauls, I really enjoy the scent of grapefruit. So now, um, I am a candle junkie. So I thought I would try a couple of the candles from the dollar store. Um, I'm a little apprehensive about it, um, only because I like a very strong candle. Um, I have dogs and cats, and so I like to cover up their scent. They're stinky, what can I say? No matter how frequently you wash them. I've got one right here who's, you know, stinky. This one is, this one is this brand. <laughs> because I can't see it. Um, and it is scented in the Far Harbor and Driftwood. It has a, it's almost a sweet scent. They had one there that was like ocean spray or something, and it smelled like a man. It's, you know, like a boyfriend candle. It smelled like that. Um, it, and um, to me, that smells like men's deodorant. That's what it smells like to me. <laughs> um, and I have several of those from Bath and Body Works. Um, so I wanted to try this little bitty one to stick in the bathroom or stick on my desk. Um, and it just, it has a soft soap. That's what it smells like in the, it's a tan one. Oh, I can't remember what they call it, but it's, it's not a vanilla scent, but it's, it's just a, like a caramel type smooth scent. Oh, it just smells wonderful to me. Um, anyway, and so this is it. And um, I bought two of them and they have little cork top. I will suggest when you are trying, if you, if you decide to go pick one up, to check there that the top comes off because several of them were shoved way down in the jar 
and I couldn't get them open. Um, so I decided to try these two and I like sweet scented uh, candles as well. So these caught my attention. There's the Entenmann's All Butter Loaf Cake and the Krispy Kreme Original Donut. They had a maple scent, they had like an apple crumb cake scent, um, a couple of those, and they had Skittles scents. Um, but uh, I tried to control myself and only picked up four little candles this time. So um, they seem to have a nice, nice, uh, they just smell sweet. Um, this does, the all butter loaf cake does smell like, you know, like a vanilla cupcake. And this one, well, it does smell like a donut. Uh, it, it has like that greasy vanilla scent. So um, it's quite lovely. So, you know, I'm not sure if this will fill the room. What is that called? A throw? Um, I, I don't know. But honestly, I'd like for it just when I'm sitting at my desk to have a nice little sweet scent or maybe, you know, in a bathroom when guests are coming. It, I don't intend for this to fill up a whole room full of scent. It's much too small. Same with the other count. Ca ca uh, what are these? Candle. I am a lipstick junkie. Um, I love, love, love lipstick. Um, and I don't know why, because I buy the same color over and over and over. Just a variation of the same color. Anyway, I have uh, something similar to this on my bathroom counter, but I wanted something like this actually um, to hold more. Um, I, I have way too many lipsticks and I'm going to go through all of them and I'm going to limit myself to this container and then the one on my, on my countertop. And I'm gonna get rid of all the rest of them and I'm not gonna buy any more. Maybe. This, oh, it's open. Ooh, yuck, it's dripping. Ooh, okay, these two, Dawn, you know, it's Dawn. Um, I bathe my dogs in this, I scrub my house in this, I use Dawn for everything. Um, nice, convenient little size, easy to grab a hold of when I'm washing the dogs. Um, so I'll, I buy these bottles and then refill them with the big giant bottle. Um, and um, then when these get gross and disgusting and old and whatever, I, I recycle them and get new ones. So that's the case here, I just picked up new ones. And this one is quite sticky. Okay, just a couple more items. Um, these are storage bags, zip top storage bags. These are the two and a half gallon size. Um, I tend to start stocking up on these closer to Christmas, you know, cl closer to uh, the holidays. Um, these are great for when you're packing things away to store, when you're sending um, leftovers, like a full plate slides right in here for people. Um, I just really, really, really enjoy these. Uh, and when my kids were little, we used to use them as for Lego. Uh, I still use them for Lego. Um, I'd slide the instructions and the additional pieces right inside the Ziploc, zip it up, and then you've got the, the instructions and the additional pieces to that set put together. Um, and then if your child takes the set apart, you can slide those pieces right in here, slip it in a storage container, and you've got everything you need. Um, and we have hundreds of Lego sets stored that way. Um, as my kids got older and they were ready to take their sets down to put in storage because we are all collectors, um, this is what we would use. Um, now, not this brand, I used whatever brand there was, Kroger brand or it doesn't matter, whatever brand, but the two, two and a half gallon sizes are typical to find. So I was glad to find these and I will start stocking up on them and buying a couple every time I go into the Dollar Tree. And of course, one last thing, getting ready for the holidays. It's two things, but it's the same thing, just different versions. Um, are the Reynolds aluminum foil wraps. Um, you know, these are the pop-up ones. These are, what size are these, 14 by 10 and a quarter, and these are 13 by 10 and a, 10 and three quarters. So this is the Dollar Street Tree brand, there's 30 in here, and this is the Reynolds brand, and there are 25 in here. I have no preference, I just buy whichever one, um, and I buy them because of baking and you know lining pans and things like that, they're so convenient. Normally, um, the Dollar Tree has this brand in, um, parchment paper, um, but they were out. I didn't, wasn't able to locate them at either one of the Dollar Trees that I went to, um, you know, because I really, I like the parchment paper ones too. And I'll buy four or five a year, at six, four or five, six a year, and just use them all year long for baking, cooking, you know, that kind of thing. 
So that's it um, for the haul. Um, you can stay tuned if you'd like. Um, I'll show you the basket real quick um, here at the end. Um, if not, that's fine too. Thank you so much for watching. If you're subscribed, I appreciate it. If you aren't, I hope that you will. I hope you've enjoyed this. And, um, Florian thing. Anyway, um, and um, we post all sorts of different hauls, um, mostly from the grocery store and Costco and things like that. So um, I really appreciate you coming and taking a look, and I hope you had fun. And we will see you next time. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.